Hello guys, uh, I wanted to talk about movement techniques in GTFO. Uh, I've seen some people talk about this, but I haven't seen a guide made for it, so let's begin. Everyone knows about running, walking, and crouch walking in GTFO, but some people don't know some more advanced stuff. One of them is the dodge. The dodge happens when you are moving in any direction except for forward. So diagonally forward or forward won't work. But if you're going back, diagonally back, or to the side, as long as you're holding the sprint key while you're moving, you'll be able to do a one-time dodge. It has a cooldown, and you're going to have to press the sprint button again to be able to use it. This will allow you to peek and then quickly dodge around the corner, but it can also be used to evade attacks. You can do that by evading and jumping with the evade and pivoting and running away. Another thing you can do is when you're sprinting, you can slide. Now, in the beginning stages of the sprint, like for the first, I don't know how long, honestly, but at the beginning of it, you're not going to be able to slide, unfortunately. But after some time passes, you enter a full sprint state where you can interrupt that sprint by simply crouching. You will slide. During the sliding state, you are able to do anything that you would normally be able to do when crouched. So you can swing the hammer. You can even charge up the hammer. You can also jump, oop, jump. You can even switch weapons or you can shoot a weapon. You can do a lot of things. The hammer is going to be the most useful thing and jumping probably the second most useful thing. I don't think shooting like this is going to be very helpful because you're going to have to run toward your target. I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, I'm going to show what you can do with this really quickly. So I'm not going to practice shooting at them, but I will practice dodging, attacking, and uh, just generally those two things actually. So this monster is going to keep me at bay. We can evade an attack. Oop. Okay, I need to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay. Well, those projectiles are, seem to be giving me a little bit of trouble. But you can also actually try and get past a monster by sprinting towards it and jumping over it. And when you're doing this, it'll be really hard to hit you. When you're good, you can counterattack. And kill the enemies. And that's all I really wanted to show. Uh, so here's hoping that it's very useful to you. Um, I binded the crouch key to a mouse button that might be very helpful just because doing this on the control key would <laughs> it, it wouldn't be very easy to do cheers